Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you about constructors. Now constructors are very, well, useful and important to classes. Basically a constructor will do something for whenever you want to do something basic that you could do with anything. I know that kind of doesn't, that sounds stupid, but it's, it's not. For example, if you wanted to say like, you have a list called li, that's equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you wanted to print li, you would just say print li and you get that. But with, if you were to do li like that, you see you get these things right here. And you get these little constructors, add, class, contains, blah, 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 format, iter, reduce, blah, blah, blah. And then you have this one, underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore. This is what makes it do that, make it return like this. Basically, the li is a variable for a list, and a list is an object, and if it's an object, it's the same thing, it's handled the same way as a class, because classes and objects are the same thing. Classes are objects, and everything in Python is an object, which means that most of the time they have constructors, and you should always have a constructor in your classes, no matter what. It's just good practice. Now, basically, what a constructor does is it handles something, a operation, a certain way no matter what so if we wanted to return a string uh, representation of it this is called and that's what happened up here print called the string constructor on here that's what it does by default now if you don't have a constructor in something and you print it it just does the default one for Python altogether which I believe is in like uh, built-in but <clears throat> I'm not sure and we don't have time to show you guys so, what is it that we um, would want to do that for? Well, it makes it makes your code cleaner. You can set special ways to do things. For example, you could say like print, and then like modulus s, blah blah blah, modulus d. If you had strings and numbers in your class, you could always have it printed out this way with your variables. Then like this. So, I mean, like that, or, ugh, you know what, I'm not even going to try to show right now, because I am so tired. Anyways, <laughs> um, we'll, we'll deal with that later. That's the reason you would want to do that. There's another one called underscore, un, uh, underscore, underscore, also called dunders. That's what I'm going to call them, because that's a lot easier to pronounce. And then init dunder, like that, a double underscore. And that basically initializes everything. It does all the basic assignments of the variables you give it. So let's actually jump into this and see what I am trying to tell you guys so poorly. So we'll make a class and we'll just name it um, constructors. And we'll just have it say object in here. Oops. There we go. Okay, now we're going to say define or def dunder init dunder and then in here we can give it the um, we can give it a couple variables and now even if we left this blank up here anything entered in here will automatically go to the init and if we were to say like x y like that in here even though if we were to do something like that x and y would appear up here when we try to make a instance of our constructors class so for example <clears throat> if we were to say x is equal oops self dot x is equal to x and self dot y is equal to y then it would take the y and x that are set from this initialization which is set up here and return those to these global um, variables self dot x um, I believe I explained in a video earlier um, that you don't need to do this part right here self dot y is equal to y or self dot x is equal to x and that's because these just make these global variables that you can call from the constructors class itself and so you don't always need to do that but it's a good idea to do it I just didn't do it in a tutorial and someone was asking about it and it was just because I didn't think we needed to but yeah always do that in an initialization uh, constructor you should always have an init um, constructor in your class and 
do all the basic assignments up here. That way you don't have to call another function to do it, it automatically does it. Makes your program faster and cleaner. <clears throat> now we can make another one called underscore underscore st or my bad str dunder and then in here it's just going to take self as a parameter what we can do in here is just say return self and that will by default just return the um the whatever we're trying to return in this case self as a string that is interpreted by whatever function we use the default function for it so like print would automatically change whatever it's printing into a string which that's also the exact same thing that happens when uh you use it when it doesn't have one of these defined so we can actually say like return um like a string that says hello modulus s and then say modulus x right there or self dot x right there and if we get out of this I'll kind of show you what this looks like so we'll just say um, example is equal to constructors and then as you see here or actually you can't see it goes off screen a little bit I'll retype that X and Y show up right here uh, looks like it shows up on the screen recorder I'm sorry if it doesn't but uh yeah X and Y pops up here even though it's not defined in the this part here it's in the knit <clears throat> so that's uh, just something I want to show you anyways so now we'll just put in Kurt and for y we'll just say price now if we were to do example dot underscore underscore str underscore underscore we get hello Kurt because that's how it returns it it returned the string just like that now if we were to say like print example we get hello Kurt now why did it do that well because it automatically went to this function here. Now real fast I'll just make a class called um, stuff and we'll show you what happens if you don't define the uh, string constructor. Okay so We'll make another one called example2, and that'll be equal to stuff with Kurt, comma, oops, price. Okay, now, if we were to say print example2, we get this instead, underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore, dot, stuff, object, at blah, 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 and you may be wondering, well, you said that it would just call the normal thing from print, and it does but because we didn't define what we wanted to return it doesn't say oh okay we must return the variables it says okay we'll print it out and it turns out that the default thing for print is to print out where it ends up in memory which is what this code is right there that's where it is in our memory of python so it's really important to define that constructor otherwise users of your program will be saying what the hell does 0x02a80830 mean and so yeah it, it, it's it's a good thing to define constructors in all of your classes and these are the two main ones initialization and string so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments um, I'll be here to help classes took me the longest to master I, I still don't think I have mastered them there's a lot to learn about classes especially in oriented object oriented programming together because pretty much all the languages can do the same things but classes and objects are so easy to program but so hard to do well so yeah comment with any questions you may have like the video if you liked it favorite it if you want to refer to it because that helps me a lot when you guys favorite it stuff so yeah and well have a nice day 
and click the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed you'll get to see all my fascinating awesome videos thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later